I wanna be with you. 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 Yo, what's good, folks? Happy Friday. This is Suheel back with Feel Good Threads. And uh, welcome back to episode three. We've got a new pair of kicks here. And uh, I haven't worked on these guys for a long time. Uh, this is a crispy pair of Jordan 1s. And therefore, my homeboy Kent. Uh, Kent's actually getting married. So he's going to be wearing these at his reception. So they, they've got to look ex extra nice uh, when they're done. So um, with that said, guys, I'm going to be heading over today to One Piece Studios. Uh, we're going to be uh, tape recording uh, live, actually. I'll be customizing out there live. I've got to get packed. But I did want to show you guys the, the pair that I'm working on today. I'm actually really, really amped to work on a pair of these ones because I've only done, I've only done like one pair of ones. Uh, since Ken is getting married, I got to make sure these pair of kicks look super fresh for him. I'm going to prep them here. So once I get over to One Piece Studios, all I have to do is tape them up and get them painted. So with that said, guys, I got to bounce. I got to get packed and I'll see you guys at One Piece Studios. These companies trying to sell me like I'm Barristan Start with my craft, get it ghost like Kerrigan There is no comparison, first gen American We on the same side, Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison I'm a young man who kinda old school reminiscent Playing in the S and on my cousin Sega Genesis Search me on the internet, you find that I've been in this Spidey sense is tingling, my nemesis is venomous Peace to broke musicians, making tips up on the promenade Rich rappers still slaves, rocking chains, I'm a stud Hindu say namaste, Muslim say salam I'm with Lake, I'm locking like a combination Rocket like a bomb with patience Fighting off the occupation Writing off the cost of plan Trying to build a buzz like I'm hyped up off the operation Game, it's a hard road Say it's my asphalt Blaming myself, I don't throw shade to pass salt Less than millions bland, I just want a million bands Cause bands make a dance And she say that you the man I'm just saying, like Kakarada Goku Fresh, I got them dope moves Order me so soup, I got that tofu Smitty's fried fish, South Koreans cooking soul food Drive around the hood, guarantee there ain't no Whole Foods Came a long way from being stuck up off them road dubs Focus on the real, be yourself, get to know you Out of sync, out of sight, out of mind, gotta think A lot of ink, kinda drop, bada boom, bada bing Daily grind, rise, shine Alright guys, so um, as you guys can see I've got one of Kent's Jordan 1's here And this guy is actually complete I, I got this one completed at One Piece Studios And uh, I think that I was pretty lucky because I didn't have really any uh, problems or any situations with the airbrush gun. Uh, it didn't clog on me at all, and uh, I did have a nice, um, you know, clean finish for this one shoe. Now uh, we still got another pair left to go. As you guys could see, the the complete color change difference there. One of the the benefits of having an airbrush is when you have everything completely masked off and you know that you're comfortable with an airbrush, then you can just complete the shoe off in, in, in very little time. But the problem with airbrushing is you also have to mask everything off very accurately. So uh, it's a give and take between on if you want to do like a hand paint job on this Jordan 1, which might have not required me to do any masking off. I could have just done it by hand. But I just prefer to do uh, the airbrushing method because I like the way that the, the finish ends up on it. Uh, there's never any brush strokes or streaks anywhere uh, so that's why I ended up going this route but don't think that you cannot do this Jordan 1 uh, with a hand painted way as well because hand painting wouldn't require so much of the time consumption in masking your shoe off it would simply be you having to layer back and forth with, with, a, with a paintbrush so um, both ways uh, you can accomplish the same goal guys again I just chose to do it this way because I, 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 li I like the airbrush and I just prefer it with, with this method so uh, again guys just be very careful when you guys are masking off these spots if you want to keep a nice crispy uh, white underneath it. So uh, with that said guys, let me jump onto uh, the table here. I'm going to complete this one and you guys could ride along. Alright guys, so we're back here and uh, basically what I'm using here is just the same paint that I used over at the studio. 
Uh, what I did do additionally though is I just added a little bit of too thin into it and uh, I did that for two reasons. Number one, the paint was a little thick so I just thought let me thin it out a little bit because I want to make sure that it goes through the airbrush. Now the, the paint consistency, let me talk to you guys a little bit about that when you're putting it in the airbrush and, and I'll show you here as we pour this guy out. You guys could see that it had no problem pouring out and uh, it did have a little bit of thickness to it. So uh, best way to think about that guys is uh, the consistency of like milk for example. When you have milk, it, it is uh, liquidy but it is thicker than water as well. So uh, the reason you want it to be that level of consistency is uh, that way it gives the proper coverage. Otherwise, what, if you guys put too much tooth in, in there, what's gonna end up happening is you're gonna be spraying your whole shoe and you'll see the paint come out, but it'll be super watery. It'll look like almost like watercolors. And that's a, a clear indicator that you put too much tooth in. So knowing how much tooth in to put in with your paint is, is, is a very uh, focal point in making sure your airbrush quality and the finish of this shoe comes out right. All right guys? I'm sure you guys noticed in the studio that I was using this, this stuff called SEM Sand Free. And the reason I was using it is because th this texture here, it has somewhat of a cross stitch um, kind of a feel to it. And I'm not exactly sure if this is, is leather. So better to be safe than sorry, what I ended up doing was I ended up taking the Sand Free and I'll, I'll spray this guy first, just a slight layer, a very light layer, and that'll just help the extra process of this paint adhering on, on this surface that I'm not exactly sure of is, uh, you know, a, a leather. Additionally to that, guys, I, I also added uh, Too Hard. Uh, too Hard here is, again, this is made for plastic adhesion promoter and film hardener. So this guy helps the bond between this shoe and the paint that we're putting on it. That's the reason why I'm, I'm adding a one-to-one -one mix of paint and too hard but before that I'm hitting it with this sand free I've been getting a lot of questions about well do I have to use sand free or do I have to use too hard it's, it's totally up to you guys what if you guys want to use it for me it's, it's for my clients so I want to make sure that you know he sustains the best quality in his shoes so for me I'm gonna use it because I know they both work and I've used them cohesively time and time again and they've been proven to work so I'm not gonna stray away from, from something that I know that I've spent so many years trying to perfect the craft on and not use it, okay? So again, you know, do you need to use it? I mean, no, of course you don't need to use it. Do I recommend you use it? I strongly recommend you use it. All right guys, so I work in sections and, and the reason I do that is because it makes the complete job a lot more manageable when you can do, say for example, the toe box first. Uh, by the way, I'm adding a, a one to one ratio here. When you can do, um, you know, just the toe box first, get that kind of complete, you'll get a nice coating on that once you have that done. Then you can move on to the side, the back, and then, the, you know, obviously the inside of the shoe. And that, that makes for a more manageable, you know, painting process than you just spritzing everything around and not having any kind of organization involved. So first thing I'm gonna do, again, guys, let's start with the toe box. Uh, again, this is a, a sensitive area here, so make sure that you, you press in and make sure that all of your lines, guys, before you even start this whole process, make sure you've double checked that all of your lines are clean. Uh, what I usually do, again, is I, I just I comb through it uh, here with my nail, and that, that just kind of supports that I know that I've done a good tape job, even though for some reason or another I can never get a perfect tape job. I don't know how these other customizers do it, but you know, I'm, I'm just doing it to make sure that it, it's as clean as possible because at the end of the day, when we take all this tape off and we untape everything, um, you want as little cleanup as possible. So uh, let's let's go ahead and hit the, the toe box first here. Again, I, I'm hitting it from, I'll say about eight inches away there. And then immediately after that, you hit the toe box with the paint and the too hard. You're coming in too close and it seeps past the tape. So make that a goal. So 
you just want to keep it nice and light see that it's nice and light it's still covered but I could still see through and see the white behind it okay a um, couple of spots here you want to be taking note of right here and right here there's a lot of curvature so the the tape does end up peel up a lot so make sure before you start spraying those areas that you're really uh, solidifying that those guys are, are pressed down well and then on the inside here you got to remember to kind of keep a balance there it'll stay white and I'm gonna just very gently pull this up and even that area out see I'm keeping the distance far enough where there's no there's no actual overspray that could really have the opportunity to creep past the tape if I'm coming in real close and I'm hitting it at that exact angle where the tape is laying well you're giving yourself too much of a risk of, of you creeping underneath that tape and that's why the way I do this is just lay it out really light because I want to keep that nice crispy white that's underneath all these areas that I've masked off another thing guys here you really want to make sure that you're watching this curve area here because I'm trying to keep the sock liner as white as possible and just a little bit of overspray can really uh, affect and you can definitely see the overspray on that white liner so make sure you keep the, the white liner intact let's just keep going with this now I'm gonna uh, you, you see I've already done the toe box now let's go ahead and do the, the right side There you go, just spritz a little bit and then immediately jump into getting these areas painted because this is a wet on wet application meaning you want to start spraying the areas right now because this is the time where the adhesion promoter works best. Again, so one, one light layer I could still see through and I'm gonna just keep going through guys I'm gonna go ahead and do that last section here and then we'll finish off the back by blending all of the the rest of the portions in Today, bro, I've been working on the last couple of days, but take a look at the. Oh, that's perfect. No, that's fucking dope. Overall, bro, I think they came out look, looking pretty fresh, man. You know, I strained the laces out last night. You I've just been the detailing man. them all day today. You know. You are the man. And I dude. think, uh, what do you think about the bride and the groom, dude? Those are hard. Yeah. Yeah, those are dope. Man, I even had your little fucking beard. I was sitting there poking <laughs> dots to make your beard and your goatee and shit, dog. That's fucking hard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> took me a minute, man. That's fucking hard. Yeah, yeah it took me a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna wear these once and then I'm gonna put them. I'm, 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 I'm gonna have Robert make me a. Um, a hang tag for him? No, nah, a case. Oh, you're gonna make an acrylic case for him? Yeah, yeah. You gotta make an yeah. acrylic case for those. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a special moment for you guys, you know? Yeah. yeah. You nah, know, that's fucking sick. Yeah. yeah. A ring, that's fucking dope. Cool, man. So you, you're happy? I'm stoked. Yeah? I'm stoked. Alright, cool. I'm telling Rob, I was like, hey, hey Rob, I'm gonna tell him, I'm gonna tell him that I yeah, fucked him up. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna fuck him up. You know what Rob said? 
Don't tell me you fucked him up. You don't want to see angry fucking Ken. I was waiting to care it as long as yeah. you, it's, it's the, it's, if you were to tell me you fucked up the soup. It was, hey, one more thing. Uh -huh. Have a seat for me right there real quick. It was good. I'm going to talk to you. Uh -huh. So, um, this has been on the whole time. <laughs> You're an asshole. So, I have to get you an I have to get you an actual reaction, man. So you're gonna be on the third episode of Flipping Kicks for me, dog. And that, that's why I had to, I had to kind of fib. I had to fib and say, hey, bro, uh, you know, I can only do the swooshes for you. And, and I think this was the, the best way to present them to you, man. That's dope. You know. So that's yeah, dope. thanks, thanks for being part of the episode. <laughs> I was gonna tell you to get dressed and shit, and I was like, nah, that's gonna be too obvious. That's what's up, this fool to get dressed, you know? Oh, man. And um, Rob has a hang tag waiting for you for it, too. So, oh, okay. um, you know, you, you, you and Rob can, can connect with that. Yeah. That fool was supposed to have you bring your own hang tag here, uh -huh. and then I was just gonna have you open it up together. Yeah, I gotta go over there anyway, so. Cool, cool. So, uh -huh. alright, bro. Well, <laughs> say bye bye to the cameraman. It's the Hills, the man. <laughs> Feel <And> good threats. <laughs> Thank you, bro. Uh -huh. I appreciate it, man. <laughs> if I didn't ride blade on curve, would you still love me? If I'm in my mind at work, would you still love me? Keep it a hundred, I'd rather you trust me than to love me. Keep it a whole one, huh? Don't got you that I'm on the way. I'm like an exit away, yep. If I didn't ride blade on curve, would you still love me? If I'm in my mind at work, would you still love me? Keep it a hundred, I'd rather you trust me than to. Keep it all on, uh -huh.